Uh, welcome again. Um, as I promised, and I don't know if I promised, but like uh, weekends, side projects, barely get time to do anything on the week. So um, I was thinking in terms of a philosophy of a thing, which is um, we barely know how our internet works, like how the networking works in our homes, the routers, all the packets coming in into this space, into this, it, it kind of like um, occupies where we are living being very much invisible about it. Like uh, it comes into bytes encrypted and stuff like that on the networks and IP addresses, different protocols. And then they somehow, they're all kind of hidden under a certain layer. And I'm not saying that I want to see everything happening in front of my eyes and then I'll get crazy. I just wanted to know like day by day, we are using so many of these things, especially the internet and the network and the routers and the data and we talk about all of this stuff it feels to me like more um we know things something we know a lot of things only from the surface and we which is good like we don't not everybody wants to know everything but like um for the sheer fact that some things are important in our lives and some things are taken out of our hands without our consent things becomes more apparent at certain stage we become activists regarding like um, to understand and navigate through these channels, through this whole river of information and knowledge, and uh, we end up crazy. Um, doing that, being an artist in this field, it kind of pulls me in the direction of understanding this plethora, because I, me, myself, started, um, I'm not a hacker or not an engineer, as I said, uh, not a computer science engineer, at least. Um, I love things more visual, but my tool has been always code, and like I try to achieve that and understand that, and like, create a sort of artifact which helps us to reflect or abstract certain things at a very meta level. So um, when I was talking about these information protocols and uh, the networking and the routers and everything that is kind of sole underground foundation of the things that we are building as layers on top of this today, this information architecture, this whole um, tools, momentums have already been created and shaped in ages in different layers in different forms. Um, to understand those structures and sub beneath them um, and how they affect us and uh, the space that we occupy and they occupy inhabit with us. Uh, a project that I'm thinking of making is gonna do sniffing of internet uh, protocols and data packets that are coming in uh, in the area or through the network that I'm or my computer or a small thing is connected to as a node. Um, the whole package that comes through and browses like a channel in that network protocol, the source IP addresses, the destinations it's forwarded to, uh, all of those things I'll sniff and uh, maybe I'll also inject something to see how much disturbance it creates in the network. Does it break the network? Does it? How much does it affect as an individual when you understand how, in the process of understanding this thing, how it actually might break or like how much to how much thing degree I can actually push it to not to break to see all those critical aspects of it, uh, to examine those and how they affect our systems, our surroundings um, that we have today, that we inhabit with them. And I'm saying that being very conscious them to information packets because they are coming from some substance and uh, we do not consider them as individual life objects, but they have significance in making certain decisions in our lives. Uh, being, uh, as I'll say tell again, in the same space being an invisible in, in a way. So to start that and like my process has always been to materialistically uh, argue about these things with uh, an artifact or some kind of substance uh, that deals with these things or creates or puts them in front of us in different format. So in a way to understand how this sniffing and like reading these packets work as an initial step towards my learning as well, I s downloaded Wireshark and installed it on my Mac using uh, uh, so I'll just like show you guys how this, so this is Workshark and I'll tell you what this actually does like from a very base beginner's perspective. Uh, hopefully this is starting, it takes some time, so you need exploits on your system to actually install this thing. It's a export package, exports package, so it's like is used to like in earlier Unix systems to install uh, protocols and services, um, applications, forms from console level, just like we have Bash for shell for uh, Unix systems. It's kind of 
solely was done for Mac in some period. But like, let's not get into that. Like, install Wireshark using exports. You'll find Google it. Like, how to install Wireshark. It's a very good tool to sniff or to see what are the protocols, or networks you are connected to, or IP addresses of the servers that your web pages are connected. So whenever you hit a web page or things like that, it actually goes and pings to a server, like uh, grabs the data, bring it to your uh, browser, right? So all those things, so all the sources of those IP addresses of the servers to the destination of your IP addresses and the port forwardings, all those things you can see and understand the data. If you want to know more about um, data sniffing and uh, network sniffing and understanding, you can, as a beginner, I could suggest uh, trying a link that is down below. Um, he's an engineer, Indian engineer and an artist somehow, and he does Surya Mutu, and he has written a nice blog post about um, how to read the packets that a processing sketch, two processing sketch is there, and both of them are communicating on the local network with each other, running on the same computer, on the local host, on the same network, on the same IP address. So he was reading the data that one processing sketch was sending to the another processing sketch. He sniffed the data with Wireshark, uh, so it analyzed it, and then in the process he explains different elements involved in this, like the raw packages, um, all the encryptions, and all that stuff. And then he tried to push uh, a another artificial data sniffer, data packet, not made made by the processing server, but. Uh, made by a tool called Scapi. Scapi is a Python wrapper, uh, kind of a tool based with Python, maybe essentially with Python. You can run it as from Python terminal, or you can, they have library, Python library, so you can actually run a Python, make a Python script to run Scapi. But Scapi has its own IDLE, so you can run Scapi standalone and like write codes in on it and uh, do stuff. Uh, so it, this is all written very much and explained very well into Surya's blog, so I'm not gonna do that here. Uh, what I'm gonna show you is how to use Scapy to sniff some data uh, and see where, how, what are the forms, and I'm not gonna explain even different raw packages because it'll take more time, and it's out of the scope here. He explains very well in his written blog uh, about the different data structure and understand what each block means, uh, what can you interpret from it. So go through it and see uh, if you can get through. So I'm gonna show you quickly two scripts that I've written, but first let's see how Wireshark works. Basic, very basic. So, oh, it kind of, I don't know, crashed. Let's start it again. Um, Wireshark. Um, so I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, so let's do, we can also set up capture options here, but like, um, you can create what filters you want to sniff from. Um, but let's close that and just start it like here and let's see like very raw. So here you can see this is like the source IP address, this is the destination IP address, this is the protocol that it's following and other lengths and informations. So this is all very good, this is all coming in. All Maybe why there's so much PPP? Am I using what server? I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, let's stop it and like just analyze. So here you get like I got this, uh, all the informations here. So Ethernet 2, frame rate was this, this many bytes captured on that interface, on that ping, specific ping, destination was this Apple, MAC address. All of this information from, oh, so it's like PPP, point point control protocol, like UDP sort of thing, mm, IPv4, um, you can see here, these means a lot. These are all like, um, so this, all of these blocks are actually encrypted in this whole single packet. Like, so this is kind of a description of what is here. Um, everything is here, all these are like um, hex coded. So um, every, every block here actually means something. Um, and this is very explained even in Scappy's blog, or you can actually get them from Turia's um, um, blog as well, a basic understanding of how these things work. So I have written a very small script, which is here. So I'll show you later for what you can do from Scappy within Scappy. Uh, so here it's more like I'm importing the Scappy library. I'm making a small function called packet callback. Uh, and packet is important here. Then here I'm just showing like the packet show. 
everything. And I'm calling this into a sniff function, which is a bit default in Scapy, and connecting to EN0, which is my Wi-Fi, and print the packet callback function, whatever it's throwing, which is packet.show, and filter all the IP addresses uh, and store nothing. So if I save this, Start sniffing. You can see these are all the data that we were seeing in Wireshark, but this is now coming here as well on my command line. So if I exit, so these are like the data packets, right? Uh, this is kind of like um, so this is one whole packet, um, and uh, here is the destination IP source IP as hex, uh, all the all kind of information in here. I'm not going to explain it bit by bit, but this is also integrated in here as well. Um, yeah, every time from different websites, from different servers, all different kind of packets. So that's one thing. If I want to filter something out, say very specific, uh, let's uh, comment out this function and uh, uncomment this that I wrote. As well, I found all of these actually from um, Stack Overflow. <laughs> I mean, that's the best part. Like, I'm not a coder. I just find these things and like copy paste and arrange certain things to actually form. make a lot of other fun things. So, what I'm doing, I'm just making another function, which is actually uh, uh, here. Like, it's looking for IP in the whole string of uh, in the whole packet string, and then. It's kind of like if you browse through the X path in XMLs and JSONs, right? Like you take up the, this this find thing, and then under this ID, you find the other sub IDs kind of thing. So here, like within IP, in the packet thing, look for source and just print out the source, and same as TCP and destination and TCP other things, and print them out, um, and filter nothing, just the IPs, and like print the print this, sniff this um, function. So if I now save this and uh, clear the console, right, um, incoming to the py, and, uh, oh, unable to get data link type, bugs ahead, press enter to trigger, I don't know what just happened. Um, so API doesn't permit to capture file descriptors. Bug ahead. That's strange. Um, and, uh, let's see. Look at it better. Do this. Oh. Why is it not printing out anything? In summary, that's nice. That's nice. Um, it's strange. I have to look into the code a little bit, but it's more like now you have. Uh, I have to look at it. I just came in right now. Uh, I have to run for a thing. But um, if I come in. Uh, but this is like it throws back everything and like I can figure out what I need and what I don't and like understand those things and send send something over from here to any other software like 
uh, using OSC, just like I did one of my other projects about the open set satellite project, where I was tracking satellites and sending the data latitude longitude to processing over OSC. So here also I'll try to do something like that and make maybe some glitch arch or something. Um, the idea is still vague and like still floating. I have to. Uh, it was just like a basic video under video of like understanding of this system of my methods like where I go both practically and philosophically towards I target something so it's not like a very techy project but like the technology is just a medium to achieve this so like I'm learning all of this stuff like I'm not a data scientist so I don't know how to say properly this is my method of doing it um, so I'll fix the bug let's see something happening about this so Scapy is a nice tool try it out um, go do visit Surya's blog and see how he explains it and other Skeppy's documentation wiki as well. Um, so till then, I'll bid bye to you guys. Have fun.